Okay, so this is going to be the nail polish collection video. As you guys can see, I have all my nail polish on two wall racks um, on my living room, behind my TV, and um, the messy top of my TV because I'm trying to figure the light out. And then that little picture there that I made, which is really easy to make, you can look up tutorials, just like crayon melt tutorials or something like that. Um, I got these nail polish racks from um, headtotoebeauty.com. You can also get them on eBay or Amazon. I will link Head to Toe um, in the Dom Bar so you guys can check them out if you like them. These are both the, I think it's 90 or 96, I think it's 90, um, 90 nail polish racks, 90 bottle holding, something like that. Start with uh, this rack over here. So let's get started. To um, go through and actually name these off um, to the best of my ability. Uh, so starting up here, these are all uh, Art Deco polishes that I got in a set off of Amazon. I'm not going to name those off because that would be kind of pointless. Uh, I have four Revlon polishes here, Bewitching Bordeaux, Sweet Tart, Minted, and then this one is a newer one that I got, um, and it is called Whimsical, and it's just um, some blue and pink, light blue and pink and silver glitter in a blue base. These two from Maybelline that I'm not sure what they're called, a uh, green one, Go Go Green, which is really separated, and then this one which actually has little hearts in it. Um, I got this during Valentine's Day, like way back when I was in high school. Um, I have two Sally Hansen Hearted Nails, Peach Daiquiri and Fuchsia Power. And then this little icing polish um, that is called Pinky, and it dries matte, and it is like an insane, insane hot pink color. And I actually bought this one right here from icing in a full size because I thought it was this color, but they're not the same. <laughs> um, I have all my sinful colors in here, as well as uh, Wet n Wild and Dreamy Poppy, and then two really ancient chrome polishes, and then the icing one. We have Let's Meet, Boogie Nights, and Rose Diamond. Shining Heart, Dream On, and Let's Talk. Into Barbados, Out of This World, and Pearl Harbor. And then starts my OPI polishes. Um, I have the black and silver shadow right here, and then this is Lincoln Park After Dark. And moving down to this row, I have uh, Coney Island Cotton Candy, Sweetheart. Um, these are all from the Pirates of the Caribbean collection. Lydia She Rose, Sparrow Me the Drama, Planks a Lot, Skull and Gloss Bones. Stranger Tides and Mermaid's Tears. This is Jade is the New Black, like the movies from the Katy Perry collection. You Don't Know Jacques, and this is the matte finish of this one. I'm not too crazy about it. Simply Smashing, um, Last Friday Night, and Teenage Dream Glitter. And then this one is from the um, Nicki Minaj collection. And this is Metallic for Life. And then down here starts my China Glaze polishes. Um, I have White on White, Recycle. Sea Spray, For Audrey, Secret Periwinkle, um, Towel Boy Toy, Sky High Top, Shower Together, uh, Frostbites, Bermuda Breakaway, Tempest, Grape Juice, and Grape Pop, and then this is the Glow in the Dark Top Coat. And then the last two rows, I have um, Watermelon Ride, Atlantis, Zombie Zest, Tree Hugger, Kiwi Colada, Ruby Pumps, Helium, um, Pool Party, Flip Flop Fantasy, Sun Worshipper, Peachy Keen, Sunset Sail, Yellow Polka Dot Bikini and Lemon Fizz, and then this is the magnet for the magnetic polishes. Um, I have four of the Crackle Colors, Lightning Bolt, Crack Concrete, um, Crushed Candy, Broken Hearted, and Fault Line, and these separate really, really easily. Um, I have three from the uh, Christmas, one of the Christmas sets. Um, Jolly Holly, Party Hardy, which is the glitter, and Fat Santa, Fat with a PH. And then these are the Magnetics uh, polishes. I have no idea the names of these. Attraction, Pull Me Close, and Klingon, as in like, 
cling on, not like the aliens from Star Trek, because that's all I can think of when I see these. Remove me, drawn to you, and instant chemistry. Okay, so this rack is actually my favorite of um, the two, even though it's kind of more of a mess. Um, I have all my Essie polishes here. Um, they are pearly white, topless, and barefoot, Fiji. Uh, what is this one? Van de Gogh, French Affair, Lovey Dovey, Splash of Grenadine, Lilacism, uh, Playdate, Fiesta, Cute as a Button, Tarte Deco, Brazilian, Clam Bake, In Stitches, Carry On, and Sexy Divide. And then down here we have uh, Chinchilli, Stealing the Scene, Armed and Ready, uh, Borrowed in Blue, Barbados Blue, Lapis of Luxury, Smooth Sailing, Absolutely Sure, Mint Candy Apple, Turquoise and Caicos, Navigate Her, So Psyched, and Pretty Edgy. And then down here, um, I'll get to those when I'm closer to them. Um, and then I have the um, minis, the OPI minis for uh, the Nicki Minaj collection. Uh, did it on them, fly, pink Friday, and save me the glitter. And there's actually um, a little error where the packaging said that this was metallic for life, but it actually ended up being save me, which is kind of disappointing because that's why I have the full size of metallic for life because that's the one I really wanted out of that set. And then it wasn't even there. So, third row, I have the SD Lux Effects. Um, these were the glitter top coats. Uh, pure Perfection. Shine of the Times, which is actually really, really beautiful. I have it on my nails, all except for this accent nail, over a black. And as you can see, it's just like a beautiful green, uh, orange, gold kind of duochrome flaky polish. So if you're gonna check one of those out, I would definitely check that one out because it looks way different over black than it does in the bottle. As gold as it gets, a cut above and set in stone. So then I have my three Chanel polishes um, in Mimosa, Orange Fizz, Peridot, and Black Pearl. These are just Conad polishes for the Conad uh, stamping image plates. And so they just, the names are just, you know, like yellow, hot pink, pink, gold, nothing special. Um, but I have all those there. And I really like the Conad stamper. That's what I used on my accent nail. Um, just a, I think a, a Bundle Monster image plate. Uh, and then the gold polish over blast, a stamper. Um, so going down to this tray here, or this row, I have my Butter London Polishes, I have Lady Muck, Disco Biscuit, Cheeky Chops, West, West End Wonderland, Wallace, and The Black Knight. And then I have my One Lonely Illamasqua Polish, and this is in Scorn, and it is a matte black. And then I have this one, this actually came from a custom uh, polish maker on Etsy. This is the Pretty and Polished in Valentino, and it almost looks like cookies and cream. It's just like a white... Uh, there's a couple really dark purple and black glitters in it and like a darker base. And this is the closest thing I've ever been able to find to Linderella's Connect the Dots, if you guys have heard of that one. The only difference between this and that is that that has bar glitter in it and, you know, maybe a different black to white glitter ratio. I'm not sure, but this is a really, really awesome polish. It looks great. Like, I'm trying to find like a cream colored nail polish because this would look perfect over something like that. So, um... I would definitely check this out if you guys get a chance. I will link her Etsy shop below so you can try it out if you want to. Um, you can also buy a smaller size. You don't have to buy the full size of this. And then down here I have my NARS polishes. Blue Lagoon, Cha Cha Cha, and Desperado. Adelita, Give, uh, give Me Shelter, and Belle de Jour. And I have a problem. I got um, these off of All Cosmetics Wholesale and my problem is I cannot find the existence of a Belle de Jour nail polish from NARS. There is a Belle de Jour lipstick, which is, I believe is a light pink, but I've not been able to find anything that says that there is such thing as a Belle de Jour nail polish. So I don't know if this is fake. I'm not positive. Maybe it was got on All Cosmetics Wholesale because it was something that was like um, in the testing process. I don't, I'm not really sure. Um, if anybody knows anything about this, you should probably tell me because I'm really curious about this polish. Okay, and for the last two rows, um, I have a Wet n Wild polish in Glitz, I believe. Um, it's just one of the craze nail polishes. And then uh, Love and Beauty from Forever 21 in Jade. Rimmel Last and Finish Pro in Steel Gray. I have um, four Milani polishes. Um, the Jewel Effect glitters in Teal, Hot Pink, and Gems. And then just my standard black polishes from there. 
I have this Benefit polish that came in my glam bag in Let's Make a Teal. Um, these are really ancient L'Oreal polishes that I've had to add a ton of nail polish thinner into to keep them um, you know, usable because I got them when I was in high school. I have two holographic polishes from Color Club. If you've never seen a holographic polish, you should definitely Google them. I've been, really, I've been trying really hard to find um, NFU O's, the number 61 polish, um, but I can only find it on eBay for like $100, so there's no way I'm going to do that. But um, So this is the closest I have, and this is Worth the Risque from Color Club, and it is a holographic polish. It doesn't look that great in the bottle, but it, they do look great on the nails. And then I also have the purple one, uh, which is Fashion Addict. Then I have Zoya's Trixie and then Trafalgar Square from Nails Inc. and it's a magnetic polish. And then down here I just have my Sephora by OPI polishes and then all my nail treatments, base coats, top coats, and whatnot. I have um, Metro Chic, uh, Mermaid to Order, Midnight Mambo, Charge It, um, what looks like Reindeer, and then the two glitters are Only Gold, only gold for Me and Flurry Up. And then I have a Nail Growth Treatment uh, from Sally Hansen, uh, Nail Hardener. Anyway. Um, cuticle oil and then just top coats, base coats, and fast freeze and stuff from China Glaze. So that's the whole thing and I hope you guys like it and I will talk to you later.